it's Lynn from Linny C Designs and today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Um, let me just move that out of the way. It uses two stamp sets, um, Papillon Papuri and uh, the matching punches, Elegant Butterfly Punch and the Itty Bitty Butterfly Punch. And then the sentiment is from the Special Reasons um, stamp set which is from the new spring summer occasions catalog and I'm cutting using a couple of the um, framelits from the stylist stems framelit which goes with the stamp set um, to cut out the sentiment. Um, the inks that I'm using today are going to be um, Watermelon Wonder which is uh, one of my favourite colours and uh, Pacific Point and um, the card base is uh, very vanilla which is a sheet of A4 that has been uh, cut in half so um, it is 14.8 centimeters in length um, this is 21 centimeters and it's scored down the middle at 10.5 so that's that and then I'm using um, a scrap of uh, very vanilla and just to save time I've already um, die cut from a scrap of um, Watermelon Wonder uh, this shape and then I'm, I've stamped the sentiment um, and cut it out with another one of the framelits. So we'll come back to those and I'll just get on with my stamping. Now on the um, card you can see that I've stamped the butterflies down one side and if I open it that way you can see that I've actually um, cut out so that it, it gives a little bit of a, um, a lovely shape uh, to, to the, the edge of the card. Now to get those butterflies where I wanted them to be I'm using the Stampin' Magic uh, tool and I've already um, stamped the butterflies in place so I put the um, imaging sheet um, into the corner of the Stampin' Magic and with the butterfly that I'm using mounted on it I've put it into the corner and stamped straight down. I've done the large and the smaller butterfly in each of the corners and that just helps me get the butterflies exactly where I want them to be. So let me do the card to start off with. Um, I want the butterfly so that it is touching the edges of the card so Put my imaging sheet where I want it to, put the handle in the corner, double check that it's where I want it to be. Let's put the stamp, keeping a firm hold of everything, in the corner and straight down. And there we are. Now next I'm going to go to for the little butterfly. They don't have to be touching but I like them to be. I think they look quite pretty if they're close to each other. Again, putting the acrylic, the imaging sheet where I want it. Let's have the butterfly straight down. There we go. Back to the bigger butterfly. And I want that one down there. Almost straight. Straight down. I'm going to use this again. Let's get rid of that little bit of fluff. Need to put that there. Oop. Fingers and thumbs. For the blue, I want that going down there, touching. I just have to make sure that you don't uh, shift anything around. And I want 
to have one of those little butterflies. Coming in there, I think. There we go. Lovely. And then we'll quickly stamp. Of each of those butterflies. Yeah. Not sure where that'll go on there, so let's do that. And before I cut them out, or punch them out, sorry, I am going to use my Wink of Stella um, just gently pull some of that colour into the centre, it actually acts a little bit like a blender pen and pulls the ink through, but it also adds some glitter as well which is rather lovely. Um, this works well on the Whisper White card as well but that actually although we're only using two inks on this card it actually does pull that ink through and helps make those butterflies look as if they're two tonal rather than just one tone on the very vanilla. I think it gives a really lovely soft look and it adds a nice bit of glitter shimmer which doesn't really show up on the uh, with the camera but in real life it's rather lovely now i'm hoping i'm filming this on my um galaxy mobile phone which i absolutely love and i'm hoping that today the sound is better um Apologies for the sound not being very good on the last video that I made. I do appreciate everybody who has tuned in and uh, subscribed to my channel. I've literally only just started making YouTube videos. I've been going for a month and I get very excited by the thought of uh, people wanting to look at my videos and uh, subscribe. So. I know most of you are my friends, um, or the, the, the people that started off that were friends and family, so thank you for doing that. But uh, I have picked up some um, new subscribers over the recent weeks, and I am very grateful. Hopefully you'll find um, these demonstrations informative. Um, there we are, those are rather lovely. So just a quick couple of wipes and it gets rid of any excess ink. Now we'll get the punch and we'll punch those out. There we go. punch those out and then we're ready to assemble them on the card. I think what I'll also do there we go, is with my bone folder just gently bend those leaves a little bit and then bend the butterflies up in the, in the centre. softens the fibres in, in the card and uh, I think has a, makes it lovely. It gives just a little bit of dimension to the butterflies. Makes them look a little bit more lifelike. There we go. Um, before we assemble, 
I will use my paper snips and just very quickly cut out that edge. I just think it gives the card um, just a lovely finish to have a little, well it's different isn't it? I mean, homemade cards are rather nice like that because you can uh, make each of them individual. You don't have to be too precise about it but um, I'm trying not to have too much of a very vanilla showing. It doesn't really take very long to get that done and as most of them are um, touching it's quite easy, it's quite forgiving but also um, as we're sticking the other butterflies down it doesn't really matter if they're touching or not because this is just the background. Don't worry if I didn't dip that in the ink I should actually have shut that ink up but give that a nice soft get those bits out of the way. I need to do the sentiment on the inside but um, before, let's get these butterflies stuck down. A bit of Tombow glue, let's put, put it on the base of the card and it'll run out. Hopefully not. A little bit down there. My husband's just come back from walking the dog. One of the cats just come through the cat flat, so hopefully they won't come and join me while I'm filming, but anything's possible. There we go. I'm going to pop that sentiment up on a couple of dimensionals. And I think we'll put it up there this time for a change. Um, because the glue is just in the middle, it allows the wings to sort of float a little bit above the image. I think it's rather lovely. But then I would say that I do tend to like most of the cards that I do. Um, Hopefully that's, check that's sentiments straight. Nope. There we go. A little bit crooked, but hey ho. And there we have it. Hopefully you like that. Um, thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I made one other card earlier, um, which is slightly stepped up. The uh, ribbon I put down the side here is free, the free celebration ribbon, which is the very vanilla and the gold. And to tie in, I actually stamped the sentiment both on the at the front and on inside in Versamark, and then used gold embossing um, powder. So I hope you like the project. Um, thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate it, and I will see you again.